Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Going to run through a little exercise today, which uh, is a trick to uh, help with ribbing forms, which can sometimes be a frustrating exercise. So this trick I came across years ago when I was sort of uh, having to core out flex sections on chairs where there might be a visual surface on one side and the other side's ribbed out and is looking towards the ground or something away from the user. You had to rib things out and because we kept changing rib patterns and then running FEAs it got a little bit frustrating when the ribs used to fall over. So I'm using my smooth P from my bubble P exercise for the, uh, for the purposes of this. So because it's got kind of a thick section I'm going to just jump over. I've created another part and I have inserted my bubble letter using insert part. So I'm just going to run through quickly how to do this. So the first thing I want to do is offset um, some surfaces to my target wall thickness. So in this case, I think we'll just start, we'll just use one millimeter to start with. So I'm basically going to pick the upper facing surfaces like that. And then we'll hide our outside. Okay, so we want to remove this bottom part of this uh, surface because it's a full loop. So I'm going to go insert curve split line. I'm going to use the silhouette curve tool and use our projection direction of front plane and just pick that surface there, zero degrees, and go OK. So that's now split that at zero degrees. And then we'll go insert face delete and get rid of that face. Okay, so now I've got got my solid body and I've got uh, my wall thickness. Okay, so now I'm going to create a tool, basically. So I'm going to get my front plane and I'm going to offset it downwards. Nominal amount. Doesn't matter how far down, it's just got to be clear of the bottom of the part that you're shelling out like that. And on that plane, I'm going to sketch and select open loop and convert those entities. Go OK. And I'm going to go insert surface planar. And I'm also going to get that sketch again, recycle it and go insert surface extrude. And I'm going to extrude it up to my front plane. So depending on what geometry you're using, because these these are tangent, because that's the uh, the mid plane. You know, you might have geometry that goes out sharp, so you might have to extrude up through it and then trim back. Especially if this doesn't if your part like I don't have any draft at the split line here. So say you had three degrees draft when you offset this, the surface will be aiming out through here. So you have to extend the edges on this top surface. Okay, so now I've done that. Uh, oh, I've forgotten this middle piece here, section of my P. So go in there, edit, sketch, right click, select open loop, convert entities. Okay, now I'm going to knit that together. And then insert boss base, thicken. Instead of using solidify and nut, just keep it as a separate item. We don't want to merge this. Okay, so. Let's bring up our main form. So now you can see what's going to happen here. I'm going to go, you can combine by other selecting bodies here and go and combine or insert feature combine. And we're going to do a subtract. So I'm going to put the main body and then the body to combine that lower body there. Okay, and hey presto. So next step, we want to add some ribs. So what I'm going to do is add a series of cuts to this um, tool and basically it's negative space so wherever there is a cut when you combine that with the main body up here you're going to uh, be left with a rib so the first thing I have to do is I want to run cuts but I don't want to create a whole lot of separate bodies down the bottom here because that would be an absolute nightmare if we have to do a combine uh, and every time you add a rib you have to go and, and edit the combine uh, feature and add those extra ribs in. So yeah, this is tried and tested. I've pulled my hair out before with that um, when you have ribs that haven't combined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that bottom plane and I'm going to offset it. I'm just going to offset it up maybe two millimeters. 
and then I'm going to offset my front plane. Uh, just as I have a have a surface to terminate my extrude extrude cuts. Okay, so we're going to run our cuts from this plane here up to the plane three. So now if I go on this plane and sketch and say I run a line across here, I'm not going to bother defining the uh, dimensions on the line at the moment. I'm just going to hide the main body. So I want to see my edge here and we'll just place it there. That's fine. And now I'm going to go and insert cut extrude and I'm going to select thin feature which gives us the options here we're going to go up to surface up to this top surface and flip the direction and I'm going to make it maybe 0.5 millimeters thick mid plane and select body is going to pick the tall body that shouldn't be happening hang on what have I done I've got direction too okay we only want one direction Yes, that's much better. Okay, so we go, okay. And if I now go in and insert a pattern, a linear pattern, and pick my top plane as a direction, and cut thin, maybe make it one millimeter. Well, let's make it bigger actually, two millimeters. And selected body will be our tall body. Okay, so now what happens, what do you think is going to happen when I roll this forward? And the combine leaves us with this. Okay, so that's that's much easier than drawing them manually and having to terminate each of them with the with this back surface and then cut them afterwards, etc. So what you can do is all you have to do is roll back. If, you're gonna, if you want to add more ribs, just roll back. We'll go to plane two, um, go on there, sketch. And again, uh, let's just, for argument's sake, okay, we want ribs there. We go insert, cut, extrude. You don't get your other options here until you pick thin. Thin, thin feature, turn off that second direction. Kind of extrude up to the surface again. You can just pick blind. I just like extruding up to a plane. Um, Yep, one direction we want mid plane and just make sure we're picking that body. Go okay, okay, so now you can see we've got extra cuts in there. So that's our negative space. So whatever you cut away, that's going to turn into a rib when you combine it. Like that. And I just want to point out one thing with um having multiple entities that aren't connected in a using thin feature. Like if I draw another line here and go okay, SolidWorks is going to protest. And say I cannot rebuild using this and you go exit the sketch anyway and rebuild and what do you know it's rebuilt so it, it seems to say that you can't use disjoint sketches but the reality is that you can okay see so it protests again go exit the sketch and rebuild anyway and there we go we've got our rubs uh, no failures, etc. Now, there's no easy way of getting around drafting these. I didn't say that was going to be an easy thing to do. But um, while you're in the development phase, uh, and you're doing lots of FEA work or something like that, much easier if you yeah, rather than having having to go and recombine all these different bodies to uh, subtract out. So there you go. That's the ribs on the bubble letter P. Um, yeah, I hope you've found that useful. Thanks for watching. Andrew Jackson, AJA Design Studio. Bye.